downstairs neighbors can hear me or not. Hello and welcome to Bulletproof Art. If you don't already know me, my name is Sam and I am addicted to bullet journaling. It has been a minute since I made a video last and I apologize. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that shiny red button that's down below that says subscribe so that uh, you can get notified of next time I post another video. But we're in a new filming area. I don't know if you can tell or not. The lighting might be different, uh, but I'm in a different room and I'm in a different house and stuff happened in life. Now here we are. But today I have a plan, plan with me video for your viewing pleasure. It's pretty epic. Without further ado, let's get to it. Honestly, it feels like forever since I've done this and I uh, sort of feel kind of weird about it. But here is my August flip through since I didn't make an August plan with me. Um, I have been going through a lot of stuff um, in life. I just recently moved and I got out of a toxic relationship. And I originally was going to just continue sticking with a single color in my theme, but I was... Um, I was inspired by this picture that I saw in an ad from Facebook um, and it sort of had these crystals and things. So my original color was just going to be blue, um, but then my black Papermate flare had died and I didn't have another one, so I switched over to the gray one. And it just sort of like fell together like this, that it was sort of like this pastel, um, magical, mystical cover. Thing, and that's sort of how this came to life. It was all like a mistake and completely accidental, but I really like how it turned out and it's very different from what I have been doing. Um, I did a lot more drawing in this plan with me versus the last couple of ones. I made stickers because I didn't really feel like drawing, I guess. Um, but now that I'm in a much calmer environment and I had more time to myself to be able to plan this out and do it, um, I really like how it turned out. I want to apologize for like making a video like a month ago saying that I wasn't going to quit YouTube and then like falling off the face of the earth. Um, that was not my intention. I was going to attempt to continue making videos and it just didn't happen that way. Um, things started getting really bad where I was and I was really focused on trying to figure out a way out and figure out how to make myself safe again. So my number one priority was getting housing for myself and not really making YouTube videos. Um, I thought about it every day though, and for a while it was bothering me that I wasn't making a video. And I was gonna make a video last week, but I wanted to finish getting everything put away in my apartment and I still don't even have my backdrop set up to be able to do my intro video, but I'm going to figure out how to do something for that. I'll figure something out. Um, but I really missed all you guys. I missed doing this. I really love um, creating spreads and sharing them with you and hopefully inspiring you to stay creative in your life because being creative is really important um, for your mental health and for just pretty much a well-balanced life, I guess. I'm just really in love with this spread. It really embodies how I currently feel. Like, it's so calming and it's so, like, just relaxing. And that's exactly how I feel now. Like, everything just kind of slowed down and it's just really weird now how calm everything is after it was so chaotic and so hectic. Don't get me wrong though, it definitely feels good now that I'm not in the midst of a hurricane of life situation stuff, um, and I'm not in the toxic relationship that I was in, I'm not being degraded, and I'm not being, and my things aren't being destroyed anymore. I feel safe, um, I feel secure, I'm in a really good place right now, and I really hope that it stays like this for a while, because I definitely need it to after all of that. 
This next page is my calendar. And it was really hard to try to figure out how to get the boxes because there's an extra day and not really an extra day, but like because it starts on Saturday and ends on Sunday and I do my calendars from Sunday to Saturday, it's like all weird and wonky. So it took me a minute to try to figure out how to get it all to line up. And then I had to put my, um, like the headers, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I had to put those on the bottom um, just to make everything sort of fit better, I guess. Um, I really like how it turned out though. Like, I really like the little crystals down in the bottom and the little moon thing. I actually enjoy my art more when I actually take the time and do it versus making a bunch of random stickers that are like all the same thing and then pasting them in. Like, I feel like that's really boring after a while. Um, so switching back over to traditional art is really kind of uplifting. It makes me feel capable because like I know I'm a good artist but when I get lazy and I just sit there and make stickers like I feel like I'm not really living up to my potential but when I sit down and actually draw something in my journal it makes me feel like I'm putting more effort into it if that makes sense. So I really enjoy doodling and drawing in my journal versus making the stickers. Don't get me wrong, I love making stickers, it's a lot of fun. But when I just make like, like in my, um, in my July spread, I made one specific sticker and I just made it a bunch of different sizes and put it in so that they were all the same. Now I did that because I wanted them all to be the same, but at the same time, like if I would have done that with the crystals, like not every crystal is the same. So I feel like drawing them out and making them all completely different changes the aesthetic of it, I guess. Ooh, and here I tried something different. I know I saw people doing like watercolors with their markers, so I wanted to try that. So I used a pink and a purple uh, Crayola Super Tip and also this weird water marker, water paintbrush thing, like it holds water in the end of the paintbrush. And I put the markers on uh, the back of my old journal actually because it has like that plasticky thing. And then I picked up the color and watercolored it on and I had to dry it a few times um, in order for it to be able to do what I wanted it to do. But I really like how it turned out. It's different and it's cute and I like it. Now I'm working on my trackers and I actually switched these up last month. I'm still doing my sleep in my mood tracker, but last month I also added an anxiety tracker um, and also trackers for tantrums and impulsivity because I was recently diagnosed with um, borderline personality disorder and uh, tantrums and impulsivity are um, incorporated with that so I wanted to keep track of when I was being impulsive or throwing a tantrum um, and it actually was really helpful because I honestly wasn't that like extreme with it so it was good to see that it was only like a few times out of the month versus a lot of the times but then this month I added the uh, sleep mood and anxiety again, but then I also added a motivation tracker and a meditation tracker because I was keeping track of my meditation in my weekly spreads, but I wanted to have a place for it to be all together. Um, so I just kind of threw that in here. Last month I added flowers onto the letters and this month I added little stars just because I like how that looks. I feel like it's super cute. Now I'm working on my first weekly spread. I am doing these little crystals and I like to keep my weeklies all in the same month. So instead of putting the first day, which is a Saturday, on last month, I just added it to this month so I have eight days on this spread instead of the seven. Also, after coloring in all of the crystals on all of the pages, I um, went back through with my white jelly roll pen and added some like shine to them to make them look more crystally. So I added like white lines in certain spots and like colored in some of the areas that are more on the left side just to make them look 
more 3D and more crystal-like. Um, but that about wraps up this video, so uh, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below how you found your inspiration the past couple of weeks, because I haven't been posting videos and I would really like to know. Um, also, if you haven't already, hit the big shiny red button that says subscribe down below to get uh, notified of when I post new videos. I'm going to have to think of a new uh, schedule to do that because, um, yeah, well, stay creative. Have a great day.